right. Do you have the icon pitches in stock? Yes, indeed. No, we don't. But All right. that is something that the, the public has not been informed of yet. The grad <gasps> program knows because they got the early bird pre-order discount. Oh. But right now, as we speak, for the first time ever, kind of, we have the official Student of the Gun icon being made into very cool Velcro PVC patches. That's nice. right. That are going to be made available. in the USA. In made the USA. In the USA. They, people didn't. say it's like, oh, you can't bring manufacturing, you can't bring blah blah blah. Try to try to order this thing in the USA. You can't. Guess what? We did it. So take did that. it. And by take yeah. that, I mean uh, look forward to that. Look uh, forward get to excited it. Yeah. to it. To find yourself your favorite vest or your favorite bump guard or whatever. Rip off whatever you got on there already, unless it's one of our patches, and then finding somewhere else to put this. <laughs> and we will let you know as soon as they are available for pre order. Keep your eyes open in, on your email. Keep your ears open on Student of the Gun Radio. And we will let you know as soon as you can get your grubby little hands on one of these things. I, we should go. have a picture soon. I got an update from the dude uh, yesterday at the time of recording awesome. saying right. that the mold is almost ready and that we should have a picture of the first one uh, this week. Awesome. So, everybody, so you'll be able to get that. that at shopsotg.com. Oh, yes. Indeed. Is it going to be a pre-order for the public or is the pre-order only for grad program? Uh, the the grad program got an early bird discount, but there will be a pre order for the public. Okay, all right. So, so again, you mean if I went to get sotg dot com and signed up there for a, a dollar for a thirty day trial, I could get a pre early bird discount on this patch? Absolutely, you could. That is exactly oh, that's what I'm saying. Yes, outrageous. you could do that. You, you, is the early bird discount more than a dollar savings? Yes. Oh wow! So you mean I can make money by going to get sotg dot com? Basically, yes. That's exactly what wow, we're saying. That's, that's really cool. Wow, that's pretty awesome. We are awesome. All right, moving on. It is time for a Student of the Gun homeroom brought to you by our good friends at Crossbreed Holsters. All right, uh, here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to contact Crossbreed and try and convince him to produce a, show, a shower holster. I'm not going to do that. But if you'd like to be dangerous on demand, actually have a high-quality holster, a high-quality belt, uh, and all the accessories and accoutrement so that you can be an armed citizen, well, there you go. Go to CrossbreedHolsters.com. Use the promotional code SOTG. You'll save some money, get a high-quality product, you'll be a happy camper. Do you recall just only a few months ago? It was this year, wasn't it, Zach? What It was Let's this year this. that we did. Was it October? When did, when did we do? October. If we go to Jukesy.com, I bet you at Jukesy.com there is a video from us entitled Shower Gun. I bet there is, but I bet it doesn't what? have the right date on it. December 15th, 2021. Oh, okay. There you go. We did, we actually did home invasions and shower guns. Uh, so we've got a video. There's a video link out there and I talked about it. I talked about it at length and we actually, Zach did a, we did a full length one, which was like a whole five minutes. And then for you, uh, modern Gen Z people with, with who have zero attention span, uh, we did one that was only about a minute. Uh, just a quick, and some people out there in the world poked fun at us. Well, I would hope that I never lived in an area where I would have to have that. Where do you live that you think you need to have a gun in your shower? Oh, uh, I don't know, you gigantic bag of douche. Uh, where do you live? So, who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Yes, indeed. According to this, it was eight months ago. It was eight months ago that we did the, that we featured, discussed, and displayed the shower gun. What's in your bathroom? Well, we have a story to reinforce uh, the fact that you should always listen to us. And, uh, well, pay attention. August 17th, 2022 from just com. This is a local channel in Milwaukee. Milwaukee! His mother of two fatally shoots alleged intruder claims self-defense. The mother, who asked not to be identified, told TMJ4 News that she was in the shower when she heard her 12- and 14-year-old children screaming from the living room. A woman, this is Milwaukee, a woman defending her children, she claimed, 
she claimed. She claimed. Yeah. Shot and killed an intruder who broke into her home on Monday morning. Well, there was an intruder that was dead, and her children were there, so defending her children. And she was in the shower, so I'm I'm thinking it's kind of hard to premeditate something like that. Uh, the mother, who asked not to be identified, that's uh, said that she was in the shower when she heard her 12- and 14-year-old children screaming from the living room. Without hesitation, she raced to her bedroom, grabbed her gun, and ran into the hallway to face the intruder. It all happened so fast, an adrenaline rush, she said. The man was already being attacked by her two pit bulls, but Which she shot good. him multiple times because he wouldn't stop coming. He's coming right for us. Yeah, he was coming right for her. A neighbor called her a hero. The mother said the intruder appeared to be in his late 30s and was acting erratically. <laughs> you no, think? He was in the house. Well, he broke into the house. Um... Milwaukee police have not identified the man. They arrested the woman but released her several hours later after questioning. Police arrested her they, out of her own home yes police said that they won't be releasing any more information and the incident will be referred to district attorney's office the mother said that her children are frightened and they plan to move out once they are able to find a new home there you go a neighbor and a community activist helped clean up the crime scene after authorities removed the body the mother bought the gun 10 years ago, she said, after discovering a man sleeping under her son's bed. Whoa. Whoa. She said she'd hoped she'd never need to use it. Oh. You want to go into a short diatribe about that kind of mindset? Hoping that you never need to use it? Mm. Uh, there's, that, there's so much we could talk about. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the, the I think main we talked th about that before, though. Yeah. Talking about what Ed Morales said and, and all that stuff. And it's so. like when you, if you're going to buy a gun for self-defense and this is see, this is the 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 di difference between owning objects and having the mental capacity. Uh, and it's like, well, I hope I never have to use this training. I hope I never have to do this. You know, we're going to teach you this, but we hope you well, never have to use it. Who walks around in the world hoping that they'll be able to, to like, or have to go oh, a lot that of mental stress? Yeah, a lot of people, well, they, they hope they never, and, and see, that's, that's, I can't, it's, it's simplistic idiot speak. Uh, it, what is it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, I, I really so desperately want to seem reasonable that I'm going to say, things that shouldn't that don't need to be said see th that's something that doesn't need to be said if you go to a class a firearms training class and the instructor says well we're going to do this and this and this and i'm going to teach you this but we we hope and pray that you'll never have to put this training into into use why what what are you talking about why did you even say those words why are you saying those words because you want to seem super reasonable and like, well, maybe later on in court, you know, we can bring up a witness that said, well, during the class, Mr. Jones said, I hope you'll never have to use this. Well, that makes him a super reasonable person. Case dismissed. You get extra super reasonable person discussions. For, when you say, oh, come on, Paul, it doesn't make a difference. The heck it doesn't the heck it doesn't guns are tools they're objects it is your mind that's going to save your life or not save your life and uh ed morales uh, in his book and what well, was actually it was in the teachings when, when they sent him to the uh, the academy and he had to teach young skulls full of mush he told him he said you better get this if thing out of your lexicon if you're if you're hoping to survive someday out there in the streets where there are people who want to make you dead you need to stop thinking if and start thinking when when i have to defend my life with this gun this is what i'm going to do when i am attacked this is what i'm going to do oh that's right because it was a student of his Yes, that it was a couple that of changed his mindset, yeah. and instead, and he because he was the he was the if guy. Yeah, and when you're the if person, it's easy to make excuses. You see, if you're the if person, you're like, well, I don't need to spend focus. I don't want to spend a folk whole lot of time on training. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on practice. And besides that, I'm only carrying this just in case. If maybe, if I said to you, here's a firearm. 
you need to train with it you need to practice with it because at some point in the future i'm not going to tell you when but at some point in the future you will be attacked and you're going to have to use this gun to save your life and if you don't use it properly you will die go how are you going to address that now, if you go the opposite and you're like, well, the chances are, you know, uh, statistically speaking, you'll probably never have to use your gun. If you, if you go into it with that, then that is how you will look at it. If someone convinces you, well, statistically speaking, you'll probably never have to use your gun. Well, then why am I wasting time practicing? I have other things to do. I wanted, I was going to go, I thought about going to the range and practicing, but I got other things to do. I got other stuff to do. You know, I was thinking about cleaning my gun, but I got other things to do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's how humans operate. You see, it's the human that we need to work with, not the gun. The gun knows what to do. The gun's perfectly fine. And see, that's Jared. That's where everybody puts all their focus. They're like, oh, I'm going to make this gun better by putting a new trigger in it. And I'm going to cut funky weird grooves in the front of the slide and i'm gonna stipple the grab and i'm gonna, I'm gonna do all these things they focus all their attention on the gun they need to be focusing attention on themselves they need to be focusing attention on the shooter so and you're like wow that's that's a long way from a shower gun discussion uh, it's important though it's important <laughs> and people we we shared this this you know, uh, story. And of course, people being who they are jumped in and they made all kinds of comments like, well, maybe if the gun was a hundred percent stainless with polymer grips and, 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 and you used, um, a nickel cased ammunition, I'm like, Oh my God, what you, are you, you thinking it's going to hang on a string around the freaking, around the hot faucet? Like, well, you can only put one in there if it's a hundred percent stainless. And I was like, Put it in a plastic, a waterproof plastic box. That's what I was going to say about the uh, crossbreed holsters. They're already leather and Kydex. <laughs> I mean, you you could probably just use it as long as you're not running water directly over it. I don't think I'd put, I want to put leather in a hot, steamy box for years on end. Well, if you're enclosed, it's different. But if you have like a, I don't know, our shower doesn't really get like. Your like shower doesn't get hot, mine does. It gets hot, but. Um, here's the thing. Here's what you do with a shower gun. You go get a high point C9. You go to Amazon. You buy an orange marine storage box. There you go. It has a rubber seal. You put the gun in there, and there it is. Ta-da! And who's the dummy now? That's right. 